YouTube. It's me, Christiana. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to When Is Out Pink. Okay, so today I wanted to just show you guys like how I do my like long kinky twists. Um, this is a hairstyle I do pretty often, uh, especially during the summer. <laughs> but I don't always get to enjoy the style for as long as I probably could go. Um, mostly because the style tends to be a bit uncomfortable, I'll say. Um, and sometimes it's like either really heavy or really itchy. But I discovered a new like brand of kinky twist hair on Amazon, kind of by mistake or actually by mistake. And I like the hair so much because it actually made the style very much more comfortable to wear. And I wore my last set of kinky twists um, actually for like a full month. So I thought I would come here with that little knowledge, but also to share little tips and tricks of things that I find to be just helpful when I'm spending eight hours braiding my hair. <laughs> so if you're interested in how I went from this to this, keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna get this party started from the wash to the last braid. Definitely pay attention to the screen because I'm gonna be typing some stuff in if I don't have time to say it. Um, so I actually am still using Afoji after all these years because my hair is colored blonde or bleached blonde actually. Um, as you saw, I use African Pride for a leave-in conditioner and actually their little um, oil is actually really good too. Uh, this initial prep is actually uh, strategic because um, one thing I figured out is like, with this new hair that I found, um, it has like a softness to it. And if I can get my hair just as soft, it just makes the braids look really, really pretty or the twists really, really pretty. Especially um, that leave-in conditioner from African Pride is actually the uh, key to getting my hair just as soft and in my blow dry. Um, just a, a particular feel that works really well with that hair. So I'm really kind of taking my time here and working my scalp, especially because I've been wearing protective styles all summer. Um, so it's just really important to me that when my hair is out and you see it's growing girl, so listen up, all right? Uh, when my hair is out, I make sure I get all the products, get the scalp um, oiled and moisturized, all that good stuff. It's really important. Here you'll see I'm actually parting my hair, preparing for my blow dry. Now it's my preference and you know, I learned this in beauty school is uh, your blow dry is actually super important to your styling. Uh, and it's really good to try to blow dry your hair in the direction that your overall style is going to be in. And so how you see me separating my hair right now is actually how I plan to wear my braids. I usually um, like a little side part or something like that. And I'm positioning my hair to be smoothed in, in the right direction. Also, if you have a lot of hair, thick hair like me, like my hair is short because I cut it, but as you can see, it's thick as heck. Uh, just keeping your hair parted throughout the entire process just makes things easier. You can never have too many clips, bro. <laughs> Um, but the one thing I want to note for you too in the back, um, I part my hair horizontally in the back. Um, so there's kind of a middle row and then there's like a bottom row. And ever since I cut my hair really short like this, I find that my blow dryer brush has been that much more clutch. Like I used the brush even when my hair was long, but sometimes I would actually use um, just like a, a standard blow dryer and brush to kind of work it but the brush really works with my hair this length. So I'm gonna go to sleep um, actually, cause it was pretty late when I was filming this part. Um, but I did wanna show you how I parted it again with that middle row and then the bottom row. And then I have a side part situation. So there's like four sections here. 
we going night night <laughs> but you see that hair is nice and smooth she's ready comment down below what color is your bonnet <laughs> So we're the next day. Um, I don't know why I left that part in me checking my teeth. <laughs> it's a bad habit, or I guess it's a good habit, but anyway. So the hair, um, it looks like this. It's like not even like a real brand. I'm gonna put the link down in the description box. Again, I don't get no money from this. I'm you know just making content here. Uh, but this hair, um, the package comes in like six of these little rolls. Uh, and this is, I wanna say the 24 inch because I decided I wanted long twists. I usually do like long twists. Um, but you know, you can kind of adjust if you want them longer or shorter uh, and when you go to actually install it. Um, they give you like a little crochet needle and some uh, charms for your hair. I usually won't use those charms because they're like different colors and I, I usually like gold charms, but anywho. Uh, I counted these, uh, how many strands you get in one of those little packs. And I cannot remember how many come in this little pack, but you can see in my hand, there's like a, a cute amount that comes in just that one little roll. Um, and they're pretty long, soft, soft, okay? <laughs> like, I don't even know if I can stress that enough. Uh, I'm very like pleasantly surprised. And this is like my third time using this hair. Can recommend. Um, so obviously I've started the process here. I'm watching some vlogs because I'm going to be sitting here for literally eight hours. I think I started this at one o'clock, which like shame on me when I knew it was going to be an all day endeavor. <laughs> so now I just wanted to um, show you guys a little close up. I'm on the phone running my mouth per usual. Uh, but like if you can look at how my hands are, I'm someone who starts my twists with a braid. Uh, but I also prefer to braid off of my scalp, meaning I push my edges back. If you look at my edges right there, I push them back and then add the braid because too much tension on my edges, they'll just fall off. <laughs> like literally my, my edges will just head out, <laughs> period. So I usually push my edges back and then start a little braid up. If you're curious on like how to do this um, or how I am doing this, I'm twisting the hair um, on its own and then around the other hairs. I don't know how to like say that better, um, but I'm like kind of double twisting my hair, but also smoothing the ends out each time, which is why you keep seeing my hand go out of frame. It's cause I'm smoothing the hair as I'm twisting so that it doesn't get tangled. And it's like very, very taut. I don't actually release until I'm finished the whole braid. So I want to talk about this jam, right? Cause I know a lot of us do use jam. That's like a black girly thing using the jam. Um, I don't know if everybody does this, but I take a little bit of the jam and I put it on my cuticles. Um, I find that it helps me to stop tearing up my cuticles from the hair. Um, if you're not careful, this hair will take your cuticles out of here. <laughs> Connect a line is tricky like that. So now I'm crying about how much hair I have left. Um, it's giving a little bit of James Brown, <laughs> the little um, Bantu knot out here. This is actually how I was doing my hair before when it was longer though, to get this like wave. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, so here's a, another example of what I mean about like how I push my edges back before I start braiding. Some people, you know, might not need to do that, but my edges are very, very sensitive. And so I just push them on back and then I do my partings. I usually don't do my, um, my edges first, but for the sake of the video, I did this front row first. 
Now I just wanted to show you uh, what I meant about like adjusting the braid. Like so for my braids, like I said, these are 24 inches. Uh, and then I double them so that like each side gets a short side. If you can kind of see that there. I also take that jam and I put it through through my hair all the way to the ends. It helps me to be able to tuck my hair a little bit better because like I said, I have a bob um, and it will stick out if you don't uh, seal those ends. Now I'm at the final countdown. How many braids is this? I don't even remember, honestly. Maybe it's three, four. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm finished here. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. Um, some people boil the ends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Actually was going to this time and forgot. <laughs> I ended up going out of town and completely just like forgot, but I'm finished. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I did. And I look cute. <laughs>